Do you know that these types of short videos are becoming quite viral these days? They're getting millions upon millions of views in just a few months. They're trending a lot nowadays. You can see that this channel gained 389k subscribers just by uploading 44 videos. Moreover, there's another channel with 276k subscribers and only 27 uploaded videos. The good thing is you can double the views and earnings by uploading these videos on Instagram Reels and TikTok. In this video, I'll teach you exactly how to create the same kind of video using AI assistance, and it's completely free, maybe even better than these. And yes, I'll also share a lot of tips and tricks along the way, so make sure to watch the video till the end. Without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we'll need a script. There are two methods for writing a script. The first method involves using ChatGPT. Just go to ChatGPT and say, I want to create a YouTube Shorts video on AI history. Can you suggest some powerful warriors from old history so I can create a factual video about them? Upon entering this, ChatGPT will suggest some warrior names. Now, you can choose any of them. For example, I want to create a video about Genghis Khan. I will ask ChatGPT again, generate some powerful historical facts about Genghis Khan. Separate each six-line paragraph with a title. Upon entering this, ChatGPT will provide us with some paragraphs. You can see that we now have topics for six videos. In this way, you can find as many topics as you want with the help of ChatGPT. So that was the first method of writing a script. Now let's move on to the second method. You just need to find ideas from YouTube channels. For example, if I check their most popular video, I already have a topic. I'll go to Google and search for historical facts about Genghis Khan. Here, I'll find various websites with potential topics for the video. For instance, this website. Here, you can find topics for your video. All you need to do is copy and paste from here. All right. Now that we have the script and video topics, we need to generate images for this script. There are three methods you can use for this. Firstly, I'd recommend using Midjourney. It's not a free tool, but if you want extremely high quality images, Midjourney is the way to go. I understand that many people might not be able to afford Midjourney. In that case, you can use Leonardo AI, which is free to use. However, when I tried to generate images using Leonardo AI, I noticed that it wasn't providing me with high quality images like Midjourney. However, I'd still recommend giving Leonardo AI a try. If you don't get good results there, you can try my last method, which is Lexica Art. It's a completely free tool where you can search for the images you need and you'll find almost all types of images. You can also generate images if you want. But as I need an image related to Genghis Khan, I'll simply search for that name here. You'll see that numerous images will appear and they're all of good quality. Just click on the image and download it from here. After that, you'll notice an option here called Explore This Style. Just click on it. Now, you'll have a bunch of similar images and you can download as many as you want. You can even copy this prompt and try using it in Leonardo AI to generate images. Who knows, you might get good results. All right, now we have the script and media files. It's time to do the voiceover for the video. I always recommend using Eleven Labs because it generates a natural, human-like voice. I'll provide the link in the description so you can sign up there. Once you're in Eleven Labs, remember to choose a deep and thick voice according to our niche. You need to go to the voice library and find a voice that is deep. I'll select the narrated and amp story option and search for a good deep voice. Okay, I found a voice that I really liked. Just listen to it. I'm not interested in age. People who tell me their age are silly. You're as old as you feel. Fantastic. Now I'll add this voice. Okay, let's all simply copy the script and paste it into Eleven Labs. From here, I'll select the voice and hit the generate button. So our voice has been generated. Now we need to do the video editing. For video editing, there's no better software than CapCut. However, you can also use Premiere Pro, but using Premiere Pro requires expertise in editing. So I'd recommend using CapCut. Firstly, download the CapCut app. You'll find the link in the description. All right, first let's import all the generated images here. I'll also import the voice. Now I'll add the voice to the timeline. Next, I need to remove the silent gaps in the voiceover because you cannot add many pauses in a short video. You need to place the cursor here, press B, make a cut, move forward, make another cut here, select it, and delete it. This way, you need to remove all the silent parts in the voiceover. I'll fast forward through this part a bit. Okay, now I'll add each image to the timeline one by one. And don't forget to change the aspect ratio here. You need to listen carefully to the voiceover and match the voice with the images. And yes, Keep in mind that an image should be shown only for three seconds. Use as many pictures as possible so that viewers don't get bored and watch the whole video. That's how you need to match all the images with the voice.
Okay, perfect. Now it's time to add transitions, animations, and visual effects to make the video even more interesting. First, you'll add an animation in the first clip. Select the first scene, go to the animations, apply the shake animation, and set the animation duration to its maximum. There are plenty of animation styles available here. Choose the one that looks good to you. Then move forward and place the cursor here. Go to transitions and apply the rotate transition. Remember not to repeat the same style of transition and animation consecutively. You need to apply different styles for different scenes. For example, if you applied your right transition, then in the next scene, you have to use a left transition or zoom transition. I hope you are getting my point. Perfect. Then select the next scene, go to animations, choose the combo option and apply the pendulum animation. Okay, now apply another transition. This time, you can use a left or right transition. Then apply the pendulum animation to the entire scene. Similarly, you need to apply animations and transitions to all the scenes. Again, remember not to repeat the same transition. Use different transitions for different scenes. All right. In the next step, we need to add filters, effects, sound effects, and background music. Firstly, let's use a filter. Go to the beginning, then go to the filter and apply this particular filter. Apply it to the entire project. Now, this filter will be applied to all the clips. Next, go to effects. Choose the first clip and then apply the fireplace effect to this clip. It will look pretty intense. Perfect. Now, select the second clip and choose another effect. I quite like this one, so I'll apply it. You can use lighting effects, noise effects, dark effects, or glitch effects. There's no shortage of effects here. All right. I've applied all the effects. Now we need to add background music. For this video, I found an epic cinematic Chinese background music on YouTube that is copyright free. I downloaded it and imported it into CapCut. I'll use this music from here. I'll trim it to fit perfectly. Then I'll slightly reduce the volume of the background music. Perfect. Next, we need to add captions to the video. Go to text, then go to auto captions and just hit the create button. Okay, your captions are added. I'll increase the text size from here. Now the captions aren't displaying word by word. To fix this, select all captions, go to animation, then captions, and choose the pop-up style from here. Now you'll see that the captions are displaying word by word. I'll use the comic hex font from here. By default, this font isn't available in CapCut. You can download it from Google, install it on your laptop, and then it will be available in CapCut too. Okay, after that, change the preset style from here. Scroll down again and turn on the shadow, then keep the opacity full, reduce the blurriness, and increase the distance a bit. Now I'll move this caption slightly upward. All right, our captions have been perfectly added. Please check all the captions once because if a word is a bit larger, it might not be fully visible. Adjust the text size accordingly. All right, guys, we've completed all the steps. Now I'll quickly export this video and let's see how our final result turns out. Genghis Khan, born as Temujin in 1162, experienced hardship from an early age. His father was poisoned, and his family faced exile, leaving him to fend for himself. Despite these challenges, he exhibited remarkable leadership qualities and charisma. He united the Mongol tribes through alliances and strategic marriages, eventually emerging as the supreme leader, Genghis Khan, in 1206. Fantastic. And that's all, guys. Thank you for joining me on this journey through creating an incredible video. If you found this process helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials. And don't forget to watch this video where I have taught you how you can create an animated story with the help of AI.